Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, November 2nd, 2022. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Innsworth for Longmont Public Media. I apologize for not being here last week. We took a fall break, went to a hotel, and did not have sufficient uh, internet. And today, I couldn't get the audio to work. So this is like take four for today's video. Wow. Um, for the moon, Tuesday, November 8th will be our super full moon. Not that it's large. It's really full because it's going through the Earth's shadow. And I have here that the first bit of the eclipse starts at 1.02 a.m. It is in the deepest part of the umbra, uh, kind of a dark red color, at uh, 3.59 uh, in the morning. And then it ends at 6.48 a.m. So I'm not sure if I'm opening up the observatory. It's a school day and I have to go and teach all day. So I don't know, but we'll see. But uh, yeah, if you... You peek out or drive out early in the morning, you should still see a bite of the moon in the west. Sun is pretty active with some large sunspots. These are these here are many times larger than the size of the Earth. For drought, we have a worsening of the drought up here. Oh, I also have to explain audio. None of the microphone things worked. I, even after the choppy audio, I'm having to use the laptop audio, so I apologize for that too crazy times. It's like I'm in the trenches. So drought conditions here get a little worse in the northern part of the state. Longmont is now in moderate drought and abnormally dry conditions are kind of increasing. In the northern front range, south central part of the state is still okay. Nation nationally, much of the center of the nation uh, got a little drier. Uh, so yeah, we do need to start getting a progression of winter and fall storms to bring in rain. You can see how little precipitation did fall. Some places got over half an inch in the mountains. We had these showers that I got to Longmont, Denver, south of Denver, there was some snow. Where we were near the springs, we uh, actually got about an inch or two of snow built up on the grass. For convection, we have a chance of some thunderstorm activity out here at the Utah Colorado border on Wednesday. Uh, it's about the same on Thursday, but we have the front coming through on Thursday, kicking out some severe weather from the Texas Panhandle up into central Kansas. Then Friday, pretty good chance of stuff happening down around Dallas and Houston and San Antonio and like that, and up to Oklahoma City. So yes, we do get a second uh, increase in severe weather chances in the fall. Look at the surface map. Here comes our front, draped down across the west. Mixed rain and snow showers, higher elevation snows are already beginning in Colorado. For Thursday, it's at its peak with the heaviest snow here, uh, really heavy snow possible in the southern mountains. And with some rain snow mix, probably rain showers in the day as the front passes around one, and the precipitation chances really pick up on Thursday and becoming snow in the evening as the temperatures get down to the 20s. Friday, a little bit left in the mountains and southeast of part of the state and we have the severe weather and heavy rains possible out in Texas. As smoke goes we have a little bit of fire activity in the Pacific Northwest and down in Alabama and uh, Georgia so nothing near here and no smoke Wednesday or Thursday expected so nice clear air. Our normal high temperatures are dropping from 58 to 54 temperatures 30 down to 26 are expected low so we're now getting into every night should be pretty darn cold pretty hard freeze so we are feeling that here's our really good chance of precipitation for about 12 hours maybe uh, 18 hours or so from one o'clock thursday through the early morning hours of friday some models are sh slowing the system down a little bit so that could give us a little better chance for some uh, snow excited about it. Here's our trough digging in the water vapor satellite image from Tuesday and then on Wednesday the trough has gotten further down. There's more lift out ahead of the trough. We're starting to get some uh, high clouds here in the uh, front range as the moisture goes over the mountains. So the highlights for the maps to come is Thursday night, Friday midnight, Trough is really approaching, coming in with a strong southwest jet over the southeast half of the state. And with that, it's about the maximum precipitation. A little bit coming off in the northeast. This is really going to hit the 
western slopes and the higher elevations more than the plains. The eastern plains are probably going to be dry. Uh, Sunday we are in the regime that will kind of dominate the rest of the week. A southwest flow aloft pretty strong as these troughs pass by the north. They're going to create some precipitation on the western side of the state, uh, but stuff just won't make it over to the uh, eastern plains. So let's take a look at this in motion as we go from Wednesday into Thursday. Look at that deep trough coming through. And this is the jet that's kicking off the severe weather as that really sharpens and then kind of falls apart and goes up into Canada. We are in our southwest flow. Here comes the next trough that looks promising. It looks like it should do the same thing, but it does brush the state, but stays to the northwest of us. Another lobe kind of rotates around and this ridge in the east just isn't going to let it move on. Yep. There's another trough coming in next weekend. This is the weekend after next, so there's a hint of a weekend storm then. So let's take a look at these cold fronts coming in. This is temperature anomaly at the surface, and there's the front sweeping down. Another push, and the whole state is good and cold on Friday. Then we got downslope winds warming it to the east of the Rockies before another cold front comes down on Monday. And briefly, six hours or so, we have colder than normal air on the plains, warms it up, right it back up. And another cold front comes into the west. And it starts to slip over down the east side of the Rockies again. Then next weekend, a much bigger push of cold, maybe a more significant storm. Whole nation then cools down. I'm not going to show much of the precipitable water forecast map. You can see as this low intensifies in the cold front, comes out this big pole of moisture from the Gulf, feeling all those thunderstorms. You do have some Pacific moisture coming in on the weekend and the beginning of next week, but storm just isn't strong enough to do anything with it. So let's watch for snow and rain. Here it is moving on Thursday, largely on the western side. Eastern plains stay mostly dry. There's our big thunderstorms firing in Texas and Oklahoma. And the low goes up into Hudson Bay area. Then Monday next week, system coming down. These are the short waves that are Passing to our northwest, the western slopes get it, rain and snow. Here comes another system in for Thursday, the western side of the state again, low passes. You get a glimpse of what might happen next weekend right there. And it's kind of snow in the mountains and drifting down. It doesn't look very big. So over the next five days, we have a little bit of precipitation here and maybe up to a quarter inch of moisture. Uh, seems optimistic, but in the eastern plains miss it out. The mountains get some good precipitation with heavy amounts down here. If you have 10 to 1 snow ratios, that could be 12 to 15 inches of snow. The Weather 5280 snow products have been broken for a few months, and they didn't really need them until now, but they're still not working. So I have to go to Tropical Tidbits for the DFS snow. And you can see here, Longmont's right about there. It's in the 2 to 3 inch area for snow, that's possible. I'm not too excited about it. I think a half an inch, an inch and a half is more likely after some rain showers. Ground temperatures are warm. It's going to be on grass and top of cars and stuff. For the next 10 days, we don't get anything new on the eastern side of the state, but the mountains do pick up a lot more. It's like 2.5 inches of liquid down there. So the southwest is getting some great moisture. And look at these snow totals, 18 inches, 13, uh, 10 up here, 15 around Red Feather Lake, um, lakes, uh, and nothing new in the Longmont area. So we end 70s on Wednesday, cold front coming in in the afternoon, another cold front comes in around noon on Thursday and brings with it the precipitation, giving a 60% chance of rain Thursday afternoon, evening, and early Friday morning, before dawn mainly. Weather temperatures in the 20s should allow whatever is falling to happen as snow. I uh, wouldn't be worried about roads, though, or nothing like that along I-25. After that, we become really normal. Um, temperatures really close to seasonal normal, dry, partly cloudy conditions. It's a new month, so we can see what the Weather Service thinks about temperatures and precipitation. 
for temperatures, I think will be a little above normal uh, chances uh, for precipitation, normal chances of precipitation with above to the west. For frequent updates and local news, Walmart Leader and Bloomfield Leader, don't forget to check those places out. They have some fun polls to look at each uh, few days as well. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking out.